Bill Murray is a legend. He's the type of guy that will steal chips off your plate in restaurants and will turn up at an archaeological dig in the Mediterranean just because he fancied it. We love a bit of Murray. So I'm Tosh from Pop Nonsense and here is our A to Z on all things Bill Murray. Hey. Bill Murray doesn't have an agent, he has an 800 number. You call that number and leave a voicemail with your movie pitch and Bill Murray might get back to you. Hey. Buzz Lightyear. Murray was once offered the role of Toy Story's Buzz Lightyear, but he declined. Hey. Coffee and Cigarettes. Murray appears in the Jim Jarmusch film Coffee and Cigarettes alongside the Rizza and the Jizza from the Wu-Tang Clan. Hey. Dishwater. In 2006, Bill Murray turned up to a student party in St Andrews, Scotland while he was on a golf trip. Apparently he partied right into the small hours with some Scandinavian students and he helped do the dishes before he left. <coughs> Eric Clapton. Both Clapton and Murray jammed Gloria on stage at the Crossroads Guitar Festival in 2007. It's a good thing Murray is as funny as he is because his guitar playing is pretty awful. <coughs> Forrest Gump. Another role that Murray decided against. G. Groundhog Day. Bill Murray starred in the film Groundhog Day in 1993. G. Groundhog Day. Bill Murray starred in the film Groundhog Day in 1993. H. Hunter S. Thompson. Console journalist Hunter S. Thompson nearly drowned Murray by tying him to a chair and throwing him into a swimming pool. Bill Murray portrayed Thompson in the film Where the Buffalo Roam. Bill and Hunter were really close friends and even invented a game called Shotgun Golf. I'll leave that one up to your imagination. Aye. Improv. Bill Murray is famous for it. When he made Caddyshack, he read the script once and improvised the entire film. Aye. Jungle Book. Bill Murray played Baloo in the Disney CGI revamp of The Jungle Book, but did you know that Murray's brother, Brian Doyle Murray, also voiced Baloo in the 1998 movie The Jungle Book Mowgli's Story? Aye. Kingpin. If you haven't seen this movie, switch this list off and go and watch it. At the end of Kingpin, when Murray's character Ern needed three strikes to win, Murray actually bowled those three strikes in a row. Is there nothing this man can do? Hell. Lost in Translation. When filming Lost in Translation during the scene where Murray's character Bob Harris films the commercial, Murray was never told what the director was going to say to him in Japanese. Sophie Coppola had done this to try and make the confusion in the scene seem real. Job done. Mm. Marijuana. Bill Murray was arrested for trying to smuggle 10 pounds of marijuana onto a plane. On his 20th birthday, Murray was travelling back home from university with the Mary Jane in his bag. He made a joke with some fellow passengers that he had two bombs in his hand luggage. A flight attendant overheard this and alerted the authorities. He was searched when he was leaving the plane and the cops found the weed. He got five years probation. And nose. Murray accidentally broke Robert De Niro's nose during the filming of Mad Dogs and Glory. Oh. Once upon a time in the Shaolin. The Wu-Tang Clan made one and only one copy of their latest album, Once Upon a Time in the Shaolin. It sold for $2 million. Part of the deal included a stipulation that the album could not be released for public consumption for 88 years. It stated, The buying party also agrees that at any time during the stipulated 88 year period, the seller may legally plan an attempt to execute one heist or caper to steal back Once Upon a Time in the Shaolin, which, if successful, would return all ownership rights to the seller. Said heist or caper can only be undertaken by currently active members of the Wu-Tang Clan and or actor Bill Murray with no legal repercussions. <coughs> Piano. In Groundhog Day when Murray plays Sergei Rachmaninoff's, I think that's how you say that, Rhapsody on a theme, he is actually playing piano. Murray can't read music but he learned most of the song by ear. Yo. Quotes. When Bill Murray was asked what it was like to be Bill Murray, he quoted, Nothing prepared me for being this awesome. It's kind of a shock. It's kind of a shock to wake up every morning and be bathed in this purple light. <laughs> Rushmore. Bill Murray was paid a day rate of $9,000 to appear in Rushmore. When Disney didn't want to pay for the helicopter scene, Murray wrote director Wes Anderson a cheque for $25,000 to cover the helicopter rental. Anderson never cashed the cheque and has kept it as a memento. Yes. Shelter from the Storm St Vincent director Ted Melfi had originally planned to end the film with a huge Hollywood moment but thinking it was too forced he asked Murray what if he just went out to the backyard and sang a song he sang Bob Dylan's Shelter from the Storm when asked why he chose this song he replied well that's one of my favourite songs of all time Tequila. One year during South by Southwest, Murray climbed behind a bar and started serving drinks. No matter what you asked for, Murray would just pour you a tequila. Yo. Umbrella hat. 
Well, he started wearing it to golf tournaments. V. Vice Principals. Murray made a cameo appearance in the very first episode of the HBO series Vice Principals. W. What about Bob? When asked about the film What About Bob, Murray said it's entertaining. Everybody knows somebody like that Bob guy. Richard Dreyfuss and I didn't get along in the movie particularly, but it worked for the movie. I mean, I drove him nuts, and he encouraged me to drive him nuts. X. Xavier University. Bill Murray's son, Luke Murray, is an assistant coach at Xavier University and regularly attends games. Why? Yearbook. This yearbook photograph. Z. Zombieland. The original celebrity cameo appearance in Zombieland was going to be Patrick Swayze, but when he fell ill, the production team wrote a list of names of people who could take his place. That included Joe Pesci, Mark Hamill and Jean-Claude Van Damme. The team never thought they could get someone like Bill Murray until they asked Woody Harrelson. Harrelson spent two days trying to convince Murray to do the project. In the original script, Murray was a zombie when they arrived at the mansion. Bill, who suggested that he was still alive and wore makeup to pretend he was dead. And that's our A to Z of Bill Murray. If you liked this video, then please subscribe to our channel for more videos like like this one and leave any A to Z suggestions you would like to see in the comments below. We're on all the social medias and why not have a look at some of the videos on the screen right now. Cheers.